Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So today, I'm going to be talking about Tom Brady and his four-game suspension that the NFL gave him yesterday. So originally, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I decided since everybody's been talking about Tom Brady the last two days, why not go ahead and give you all a video expressing how I feel about this whole Tom Brady situation. Now, the whole situation about Deflate Gate, honestly, I could really care less if he deflated the footballs, if he knew the balls were deflated, whatever the case may be, honestly, I really don't care. It's a small, tiny advantage, and at the end of the day, once they swapped out the footballs, they were still beating teams even with the regular footballs. As far as I'm concerned, the, the whole deflate gate situation was really not that big of a deal. My whole issue becomes everything after the fact. If Tom Brady honestly would have just came out and said, hey, I made a mistake, I like the balls a little under deflated and I'm not going to do it again, honestly, it wouldn't be that big of a deal today. I mean, you still have some of the haters talking about it, but for the most part, nobody would really care. But the fact that Tom Brady is continuing to fight this whole situation is making it really look worse for Tom Brady. The, the main point of his suspension wasn't even the deflate gate situation. It was the fact that he didn't cooperate with the NFL and Roger Goodell really does not like that. But now it's coming out that Tom Brady actually destroyed his cell phone. Now, I don't believe, you know, he walked around and got a hammer and just beat his cell phone up. And if he did, that is, that's even worse. But with the whole cell phone being destroyed thing, honestly, it makes him look even worse than he looked before because the NFL asked for the phone and believe, I believe it was March 6th that the investigators asked for Tom Brady's phone and he said that he destroyed it because his Samsung phone wasn't working and he wanted to switch to an iPhone. So I just, for whatever reason, I don't buy that story that it just so happened on the day, the day of, the day that they needed your cell phone, that's when your old phone broke and you went ahead and got a new phone. There was tweets yesterday saying that Tom Brady said that when he gets when he gets a new phone, he just always destroys his other phone. Like that's a common practice, which is something else I clearly don't buy. I've never had a phone, got a new iPhone, and it's like, hey, I'm gonna go destroy my other iPhone. So I, I feel like he's clearly hiding something, and the fact that he hasn't been cooperative pretty much this whole time makes him look bad. Now I'm hearing, I'm hearing that he's going to sue the NFL. He's going to do all this extra stuff. And look, Tom, just take your suspension. You're gone four games. In a year or two, nobody's really going to talk about it. Nobody really talks about the whole Spygate situation either. So nobody's really going to care. Just take your four-game suspension. Come back in week number five. And that's it. Go ahead and take your team back to the playoffs and do what you want to do. But that's my whole, that's my take pretty much on the situation. I want to know what do you guys think about the flake gate and do you think that Tom Brady deserves his four game suspension? Please let me know in the comment sections below. It's your boy D-Lord and I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.